time. So let's see how it transfers over your profile from TrainSim World 3. We're going to run it for the first time. It's actually the second time, but I messed it up because it wasn't recording. Just checking now it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's uh, select the game. Wait while it loads up. Scotsman, Vectron. this for now because I don't want you to watch me entering my password and we're going to import an existing profile and continue our progression from TSW3 you could create a new one if you want to but no and it sees my old TSW2 and TSW3 they're actually the same one so that's fine let's bring that in yes continue and it reckons I'm standard mm -hmm. That's because it doesn't know about my PC experience, and I don't actually play on the Xbox very much, so let's just go for experience. And there you have it, our profile is installed, I can see it up there in my top right hand corner, and you can see that I don't have lots of levels on the uh, Xbox, because I don't use it as much as I probably should. Let's have a look at what's in the, the trains, shall we? In our routes, so we have Antelope Valley, East Coast Main Line, Navarca Dresden, and of course, Espan And if we have a look at the yes, timetable, so it's picked up the trains from the DLCs that I have. It does have the new ones, it's got the 801, it's got the Vectron. Vectron. Just has to be said that way, sorry. And we have the Metrolink F125 and the cab car, so that looks like all the new stuff. Um, but there it is, the 4024, so yep, looks good. And that's it, it's as simple as that, transferring over your profile. So, pretty easy stuff, thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions or comments, chuck them in below, and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, have fun.